Hello and welcome. This is going to be a short episode zero, basically, talking about the uh, Let's Play and deviations that I have made from the standard uh, Lexi's Guide. I have added a few mods. I uh, will go over them now. Uh, firstly, I re-added Winter Sun, the uh, Faiths of Skyrim mod that lets you choose a deity to worship and all that. Um, I also added uh, Triumvirate, which is a uh, spell pack made by um, Inai Sion. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyway, um, it adds um, several themed packs of spells, uh, some for like druid type characters and shadow mage and so on. A few of them seemed interested, interesting, so I will be trying those out. Um, I also added the Dawnguard Arsenal, uh, which changes some of the uh, Dawnguard weapons and I think it adds some more sun-based spells. Uh, let's see, I added Tools of Kagranak. Um, which adds a few items and things, and there's displays in the museum for it for those items. So, uh, let's see. I added the uh, Skyrim safe save overhaul, which lets me have timed uh, auto saves that are safer than the base game's auto save. Uh, and lastly, I added um, true hybrid tainted blood of the Dragonborn which lets you be both a vampire and a werewolf at the same time. And the only reason I did that is because I want to do the um, companion quest line, and I want to be a vampire for the Dawn Guard stuff, and they'll, those things will probably be happening around the same uh, level range, in the like 30 to 40-ish is when I would start both of those, and I don't want to have to go back and forth between them to do the quest lines. So. There's that, and I believe that is all of the new mods that I added. Everything else should be um, exactly as the Lexi's Guide is today, which is August the 31st of 2020. So, the current guide as of that date, plus those mods. Alright, as for the playthrough itself, I'm not going to go back to doing the pure mage that I did last time, although I will be doing magic with this character. I'm thinking more of a spell sword though, with a uh, weapon in one hand and spell in the offhand, just because it opens up um, more options in terms of equipment and stuff. So uh, I probably will be wearing armor. I still haven't really decided between light armor and heavy armor. I'm leaning towards light armor just because I want to do the Thieves Guild too, but excuse me. But thematically I kinda like the idea of a heavy armored spell sword, so we'll we'll see about how that goes. But I believe that is it for the information I needed to get across in this uh, little short video. This is the character by the way, he's a Breton. Um, Yeah, I think that's about it. Once again, I won't be starting as a vampire, even though I do want to be a vampire. I'll be waiting until I start the Dawn Guard stuff to become a vampire. Unless it happens um, naturally, like I get attacked by a vampire and contract the disease. I think what I'm going to do is if I do catch the disease, I'm not going to cure it. If it happens, I'm just going to let it go ahead and progress and become a vampire that way. Um, but if I do... If I don't manage to catch the disease before I start the Dawn Guard quest line, I'll start it then. Alright, I believe that's all the information I can think of to impart on this video. I'm only making this video because I generally get questions uh, or comments on the videos about, it's like, hey, you have this, are you using this mod? Because this isn't part of the guide and I wasn't sure. And even though I usually mention it at the beginning of the Let's Play, I figure having a dedicated video to the um, new mods might help alleviate some of that. Not that I mind questions, I don't mind being asked, it's just 
I figure this is a good place to try and avoid some of the common questions. At any rate, I will see you in the first episode shortly. Thank you.